Hello everyone, it's lovely to see you back again. Wow, it's been a long week, hasn't it? And have you had fun? You've had fun, yes. Because it was your birthday last week, you're right. I know, and you had lots of fun for your birthday, didn't you? You want to show them what you did? Okay, well, you see, do you remember Joe was very sad because he couldn't have a party, could he? And that made him really sad. So we thought, well, you can have a party because we can do some fun things at home. So we had a think, didn't we? We thought about it and we looked around the house to see what we could find to make some games, didn't we? And then we went and we played some fun games. And you had a present. But that's a surprise to show the children. Yes. So, shall we go and do that straight away? All right then, let's go and see what Joe did for his birthday party. Well, we had a look around the house to see what we could find. And out in the garage, we found some cardboard and we used it to make some tunnels. And then we thought, well, what could we do with that? Well, we found a bottle. We cut off the top and the bottom so that it made a tunnel. And then we thought we'd stick it on his chair. We tried up there, but that didn't work very well. So we got some tape and we stuck it on the bottom bit of his chair, like that. Then Joe got up and we had some balls that we'd found in the toy cupboard. And he picked up a ball and we held it and he dropped it in the tube. Let's see, are you ready to walk? Oh no, Joe, you missed. Joe's been learning his numbers, so we thought we'd put some numbers on and see which number we could get. Right, Joe, are you ready? Drop the ball. Whoa, well done. Did you see, what was that number? Did he go into number two? Let's do another one. Let's see where this one goes. Are you ready? Oh, are you ready? Oh no, you missed. Are you ready? Draw. Joe, you keep sending it the wrong way. Let's try this way once more. Are you ready? Oh, is it because you you can't see properly? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes! Oh, that nearly went into number four, didn't it? Oh, you nearly got number one then, didn't you? Oh, nearly got number two. Missed again. Oh, good one! That was that fun, Joe? It was, wasn't it? You loved doing things. Pardon? It was a target game, that's right. And then, you won't believe it, Joe got a present in the post from his friend Amazon. Look, Joe, you've got a present. Shall we see? What is this? It looks... There it It looks like a gun. Oh, it is, look, it's a Nerf gun. Oh, what do you think? Do you think we can make a game with it? Shall we try? I think that's a good idea, don't you? So we thought we'd do some more target practice with the new Nerf gun. And we made some Skittles out of toilet rolls and a long roll that was from his birthday wrapping paper. And now you've got to let me help you do this, all right? Because you're not very big for this. So we pull, pull it down, hold it. You might need two hands for this. And we're going to shoot and see if we can send any of them down. Are you ready? Oh, we got that one in the middle. Well done, Joe. Let's go again, shall we? 
Are you ready? Oh, two more. Well done. Let's do another one. Pull it down. You have to have a grown-up help you with this because it's a bit stiff, isn't it? And ready, shoot. Oh, that one came down. Shall we try once more? How many have we got left? Can you count them? One, two, three left. Ready, let's see. Let's try and get these two, shall we? Are you ready? One. Pull it down again. We're a good shot, aren't we? Missed. We didn't miss, but it didn't fall down, did it? Let's try again. Ready? Oh, we missed that time. Let's try that big one. Perhaps that's a better one. Ready? Right. Yes! One more little one to go. Are you ready? Yes! Well done, Joe. Look, they're all done. With your Nerf gun, that was fun. Well, what did you think of that? Was that fun? Maybe you can make some games that you can play as well. And who knows what you'll find in your house. Come and show me if you want to. Send me a picture of the games you can make. But now we've put that all away and it's time for Sleeping Bunnies. Are you ready? See those sleeping bunnies Sleeping till it's noon Shall we try and wake them With a merry tune so still Are they ill? Wake up little bunnies! done oh but you forgot to go down did you oh we, we better do it again hadn't we so down you go shut your eyes are you ready see those sleeping bunnies sleeping till it's noon shall we try and wake them with a merry tune so Up, little bunnies, hop, little bunnies, hop, 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 little bunnies, hop, 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 little bunnies, hop, 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 little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Oh, well done! That was brilliant that time. Now it was Joe's birthday last week, wasn't it? But I wonder, has anybody had a birthday this week? Let's see. And it's time to do some candles. Has anybody had a birthday to be one or two or three or four? Now I've heard about some bigger people. Somebody was five and somebody was six. Happy birthday, everybody. <gasps> Look, Joe, we've got so many candles to do today, haven't we? So shall we sing to them? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, we 
we hope you're having a lot of fun for your birthday. It's very special to have a birthday, isn't it? And that means you're very special, aren't you? Right, okay, Joe. Now, can you blow these out for me? We'll have to see, won't we? You've got oh, so many. I know it's a bit hard for you because you're only three, aren't you? But you do your best, all right? Are you ready? Big blow, ready? And oh, that was good. You got two that time. Try again. No, a bit better than that. Yes, one more. You've oh, look, it's got one, two, three still to do. Are you ready? One more. Yes, well done. That was good, wasn't it? I know you love blowing out the candles, don't you? I know you did it lots of times for your birthday, didn't you? Because you love it so much. Are we going to see Lily today? Of course we're going to see Lily today. Shall we call Kate and Lily? Kate, are you there? Is Lily there? Can you do a song for us today, please? Yes, we want to see them, don't we? Yes, thank you. Hello, my darling. How are you today? Good. Are you good? Lily and me are good. And we just came out into the garden with our boys and we thought that it would be quite a good idea to have another song. Would you like that? Would you like that? Okay, are you ready? We're going to have a song about God and how awesome He is and how He's great, great, great and He's high, higher than the, uni higher than the skyscraper and He is lower, lower than the submarine and He's wider than the universe. Are you ready? Are you steady? Let's go. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. He 
Did you like this song? I hope you did. But for now, bye. Oh, that was a good song, wasn't it? We love that one because it's lovely to know that God is so big and he can hold us in his hands and keep us safe. And do you know what? Our story today is about somebody who knew that. It's about a boy called David. But you want to be the boy? Because you are a boy. Yes, I know you're a boy, but I don't think you look very much like David because he wore different sort of clothes. I think you'll have to dress up if you want to be David, won't you? Yes, OK, we'll dress you up and then we'll tell you the story. David lived a long, long time ago and he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brothers. That was a big family and all his brothers were bigger than him and stronger than him and he was the little one. They were all training to be soldiers and that was very exciting. And David said, can I be a soldier? They said, no, you are too small. Go out in the field and look after the sheep. Please let me be a... David, go and look after the sheep, they said. So David went out into the field to look after the sheep. He loved his sheep. He knew them all by name and they would come to him and he would keep them safe. Now, it was very dangerous where he lived and sometimes a lion would come and try and catch one of the sheep. And David had a little sling and he would put a stone in it and he would whirl it round and round and round and throw the stone. And do you know, he managed to kill a lion one day and another day he managed to kill a bear that was trying to steal his sheep. He loved his sheep and he looked after them very well. Now, one day, a special visitor came to their house. He knocked on the door and David's daddy, Jesse, went to the door. And the man standing there was called Samuel. And he said, God has sent me because he wants me to choose one of your boys to be the next king. Well, Jesse thought that was very special because he'd got so many boys, didn't he? So he called his sons and he said, come and see Samuel so that Samuel can choose one of you. The first boy came in. He was a man by now and he was big and strong and very handsome. And Samuel thought, oh, I expect it's this one. But God said inside him, he said, no, not this one. So he called the next one. Wow, he looks strong as well. Is it this one? No, said God, not this one. Do you know, Samuel saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brothers, but none of them were the right one. So Samuel said, have you got any more boys? Well, we've only got little David, but he's only little and he's looking after the sheep. I think you better go and get him, said Samuel. So they ran out and said, David, David, come quickly. You're wanted at home. So David got up and ran home, left the sheep and ran home very quickly. Here I am, here I am. What do you want me for? And they said, you must come and meet Samuel. And when Samuel saw David, God said, this is the one I'm choosing to be the next.
was king. And Samuel came and he named him and he anointed him and told him he would be the next king. When this had finished, they said, go back and look after the sheep again. So he went back out and he sat down with his sheep. thought, that was very strange. What was all that about? Surely I'm not the special one who's going to be chosen to be king. Do you know, while David was out with his sheep, he got to know God. He got to know that God was special. And he thought, I'm the shepherd looking after the sheep and God is like the shepherd looking after me and all of us. That was a good thought, wasn't it? And sometimes David would sing little songs about it, just like we sing our songs, saying how special God is. And that's the start of our story about David the shepherd boy. Well, did you like that story? I think it's special because David was the youngest and the smallest boy, but you don't have to be the big strong one to be special, do you? And you are quite little still, although you're getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I know, but you are special too. You are special to God and he is like your shepherd and he looks after you. Well, I know, it's time to go again. <gasps> the time's gone so quickly, hasn't it? But it's time to go, but we'll be back next week. So let's say goodbye for now. And maybe next week we'll hear about something else that David did. Would you like that? Let's say goodbye now and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's a little squeaky voice. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye.